So at the finish of the cycling, the score stands, Rugby Union, nine points, speed on wheels, five points. And we now come to the cross-country run, in which every member of the team takes part. The eight blues there representing rugby, the eight greens representing the speed on wheels. The course, 1,600 metres, a fraction over a mile. I think the rugby players will pace themselves nicely. They produced the winner last year in Phil Bennett, and uh, those that have had a bit of experience, Nick uh, Jevons, he finished fourth. Marcus Rose was third. Jeff Squire was fifth, and that was good for a big man. And Graham Price was seventh. So they know all about packing. That's what uh, wins cross-country running. Roger Marshall leading them out. David Jessup giving him uh, support. And... Andy Ruffle hanging in there nice, 17 years of age, the youngest competitor. Big Jeff Squire looking fairly menacing at his size. Andy Irvin following up. Sid Barris is in there. John Carlton gone through. Remember, they'll add up all their places and the lowest score will win. Jim Rennick from Scotland and Hoyk running along the towpath there, running wide, but running well. So they've got Jeff Squire, Andy Irvin, then Jim Rennick, Roger Marshall, Andy Ruffle still leading that uh, green charge with Sid Barris. Super Sid on the right, three greens doing exceptionally well. Roger Marshall, Andy Ruffle, Peter Collins coming into it and going well. Mick Bennett also up there. Nick Jevons did uh, pretty well last year. Graham Price coming into it. Now the Speedway riders, Peter Collins uh, is up there and David Jessup, the two uh, shorter men. Now, the race is on. And still three greens up in front. And the rugby players will have to do something about this. Their reputation somewhat at stake. As at least they have to get around on their own two feet and not around on wheels. Speed on wheels, leading them. Three and three, four greens up. Peter Collins and John Bevan going through with motor racing driver Derek Bell. And suddenly we've got uh, Jim Rennick putting in a little burst, taking uh, Andy Irving with him. And it's Mick Bennett that's gone with him from cycling. And then Andy Ruffle. And then Sid Barris and Roger Marshall. But the rugby players, Jeff Squire is bringing Marcus Rose, then Nick Jevons, John Carton, Graham Price. And then we've got David Jessup following up. Peter Collins looking uh, pretty tired, as is John Bevan. John Bevan and it's Derek Bell at the back. Motor Racing's uh, Evergreen. And he's not really at the back, because uh, way, way back, we've got Martin Hines, the man from karting, and he really is struggling a bit. And that's going to make a little bit of a difference. Two greens at the back. And they're coming into the finish now. Andy Irving gets through. Jim Rennick gets second. Mick Bennett gets third. And they're very tired on the line. Young Andy Ruffle with Sid Barris have brought two greens into the next two places. Then Marcus Rose and Jeff Squire. And that's the way they'll finish. Way at, way at the back there, Martin Hines from Cutting. He's uh, struggled a bit all the way around this course. Just hoping that his other competitors in green have done slightly better than him. Derek Bell from Motor Racing, three times the winner of Le Mans, of course. Knows all about stamina and endurance and wheelpower partners Jackie X but uh, knew he'd find this hard Derek uh, you started off well but uh, it's a bit longer even than the 24-hour Le Mans isn't it? well I, 
I'm not making excuses, but I, one always does, of course. The car wasn't any good. No, 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 it's, it's running. No, in fact, I, I'm used to running three to four miles, and I, I, I got a certain pace for that, and that's the pace I was sort of trying to run, and I can't go any faster, I suddenly realised this afternoon. Is this a standard training? I mean, people wonder if motor racing divers do train. They say, you sit in the cockpit, and that's all you've got to do. Superstars has proved that wrong in the past. How much training do you do, actually, on the road? Well, they have to do a lot. I run three to four miles, three to four times a week the only way really to keep in shape I mean you cut and lots of press-ups and that sort of exercise it's the only thing because your shoulders need developing and of course you've got to be physically fit because we're up to 150 degrees in the cockpit sometimes and of course we're wearing all these ridiculous clothes and it's very physical to drive so we've got to keep looking forward to the press-ups aren't I can't wait <laughs>